Russian folk instruments. Of course, we have uh, lots of friends here, Russian-speaking friends who came from that part of the world. You probably saw this instrument and know the name of it, but how much do you know about the history of this instrument? Is there anybody who knows anything about balalaika? No. Okay, let, let me tell you. Uh, balalaika, uh, it's a, almost been a folk instrument that came just from around 14th, 15th century. It's almost had a, a triangle shape, three or four strings, and played primarily for the folk music. But 100 years ago, one gentleman with name Vasily Andreev, who was a professional musician, violin player, heard this instrument and fell in love with it. He brought it back to the school, to the shop. He redesigned it, modernized it, and he had an idea to promote the instrument. He actually got support from Russian Tsar's family for promoting this instrument. So he designed six different sizes of balalaika. He tuned them differently so they can pick up the different groups from the symphony orchestra. He uh, put them together as many as 200 balalaikas and started to play all kinds of music. He traveled around the world. He gave the personal lessons to kings and queens in Europe at his time. He traveled even to the United States on the tour. 100 years ago. And uh, since that time it became a very popular instrument. And most people in the United States don't recognize instruments from a movie called, called uh, Dr. Shibaka. Yes, Morris. And let's say it this way. Balalaika players are not allowed to use any picks and they play just by their bare fingers. They, most of them tuned uh, two strings to the same tone. So again, E E A, right? The big one playing the bass, because we always keep this instrument in the group because it gives the good bass part in the orchestra, in the uh, ensemble. Another thing, it, it's a big body, so it gives the good view on the stage. <laughs> and we always have a question, what this humongous uh, uh, triangle instrument here? Uh, I guess another thing, we never know where our tours end up well, so uh, always have to have some kind of self-defense with the instrument with us too. <laughs> but the little one that's about like a prima, it plays mostly melodies and improvisations. Sergey, can you show us quickly a couple of techniques of playing balalaika? One of those, the most popular will be a briatsani, right? <laughs> to play the softer music, he can play tremolo. And actually, if we want to beat the music, we can play pizzicato and double pizzicato. If somebody get inspired by the Sergei playing and wanted to learn to play balalaika, you actually don't have to uh, buy balalaika from the beginning. You can just take the old guitar in your house, get rid of three strings, two, two strings, same tone, and just something like this will come out. It's a joke, but seriously, there's a different kind of music that can be played on this instrument. Sergei, uh, I know that uh, there's uh, no music written for violin that cannot be and uh, already didn't, uh, wasn't played in balalaika. Is that true? Uh, can, uh, can you demonstrate as uh, something impossible to uh, the balalaika? For example, maybe some little example of Bach or Handel or uh, Mozart or maybe even Paganini. How about the Paganini? He was a very good guitar player too as well as a Maybe some of the caprices, Pagani, the uh, one that you never played before. <laughs> <laughs>
put some love, put some love. So you approve that. Here's just a little example of what kind of music can be played on more like about Turkey because we have quite a few kids in the audience. Uh, maybe we should play something more familiar. Maybe we should challenge our friends here. The youngest can figure out where the music came from because all this music played often on the radio, TV, even in the Disney cartoons. But we'll play it uh, non-stop until somebody from the parents and grandparents uh, recognize the number. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, everything we have to recognize, just the name of this, where it came from, name of the composer, first, middle, last name, date, time, place, and the reason why it was written. 